Hello Zebra and welcome back to Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle and today we are heading back into the action moving on the world three we have gotten our two keys to open up the door to the big fortress whatever it is Rabbit Kong should be ready and waiting for us there maybe I don't know if this is the end or not I mean, I hope it's not, because I've been having too much gosh darn fun. We only have eight out of the 20 puzzle pieces, but we just have to walk up here and find out. Yeah, see, it's already open, because we opened it at the end of the last episode, but now we get to go on in, and I think this is gonna be an entire world in and of itself, but a whole bunch of toucans going around here, which I like. Very beautiful bird, and hey, look at this, level one already. Oh boy, here he is. Are you gonna be throwing coconuts at me? Oh, oh, he, well, well, what? I guess they're inked. Oh no. You just don't know how to play fair, do, do ya? Defeat all summoners. As you can see, there are ink-covered coconuts falling from the sky. It's raining ink-filled coconuts, ouch. Why couldn't they be blueberries? Yeah, I know, right? This is just a hazard. I hope we can find some helmets to wear. Oh, the summoner, he is a new guy. Incorrigible invokers. If my readings are correct, those are summoners. Guess what, they have summoning skills. We must defeat all the summoners, otherwise we'll fight an endless battle in the coconut rain. That does not sound fun to go against. Now when it comes to the Battle HQ, I don't know if we have any new weapons to buy, we might as well check it out. 935 at the moment. Yeah, I think we actually are all spent when it comes, yep, we, everything costs like a thousand right now. What about this? Yeah, I think we wanted to leave things how they were. I think I wanted three for you, maybe four. Yeah, for this to mega heal. Okay, so we have a lot of options that we won't be dabbling into right now. We're just gonna go into the action. And let's take a look at everything. So there's a summoner up here that I will immediately destroy as much as I possibly can. Um, then we have this guy over here. This is another tropical summoner. There are four of them in total to get rid of them. Another one up there, another one up here. So getting around might be a little bit challenging, but I'll do whatever I need to do. And I think the best thing I could do for sure would probably be go this way. Oh yeah, this would be perfect, because then I can figure a couple things out. But then I can throw uh, Rabbit Cranky. Yeah, that seems good. No, no, wrong button, wrong button. I love this song, I love this song so much. Okay, that should be pretty good. And I don't know what we want to do with Peach, Rabbit Peach. I guess we can make her go through a pipe at some point, but boom, go ahead and hit the freeze on you, and then I'm just gonna damage you pretty good with this. You don't have much health though, which is amazing. So we should be able to hit you with this, like that. 62 damage is okay, but then we can slide past you, maybe even jump off of you. Can we team jump off of the UK? We can. This doesn't give me too much distance, so. I mean, it's worth doing, I think, still because we could just put him here now, which would be really nice, so get rid of that guy, plop on down, and then jump on over. He doesn't even do his ice shot just because there's nobody to hit, which is interesting. Now this sleep, this wouldn't reach anybody, so I'm just gonna leave it how it is. DK really can't reach anybody either, so I guess we're just gonna be focusing on Rabbit Peach. She can't do too much either, but might as well just get started with some stuff. I feel like if there's anything we could do, it is going for that guy. Now I figured that it would go through the pipe to reach him, I don't know if it's gonna try doing that or not. It's just gonna stop here for now. Well, at the least, he can't go down here at all without getting exploded. Ink coconuts are gonna be raining down now. And they haven't hit any, oh, okay, there it goes. It just hit uh, Peach, which means I don't think she can use any of her primary weapons until she gets cleared, which is really bad. They haven't summoned anybody. Oh, here we go. Who are you summoning? I don't know. Maybe you don't summon until like the turn is done, so we wanna try to make sure we get rid of you. Really? That's all you're gonna do? You're not gonna take him out more? You're not gonna go through this way? Oh, because this pipe doesn't lead to there. No taken. Where does this pipe lead? Oh. That is all kinds of different places than I thought you'd end up bringing me. Because there's this guy up here that I definitely wanna take down. But then there's this guy and that guy. The problem with that is I don't think that you know, we could get up there even if we tried. I mean, I will, that would be great, but for now, I think that we should go ahead and get, I mean, oh, hard to say. Are you just chilling out up here? You are, like you're not even in the proper cover. So we have a couple of options. I'm thinking our first option, like we could just do this. Oh, but that's tough. That's a tough thing to say. Hmm, okay, because DK could, pick you up and then toss you somewhere. I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm overthinking this a little bit. No, I don't think I am though. Cause I could 
throw him somewhere, especially if I just hang out right here. And then I guess Cranky could go this way. Oh, he could go up here. That's a decent start, I think. Because then we can at least slow one of the summoners down to some capacity. We can focus on this guy with DK and Rabbit Peach. So go ahead and just toss that banana over. Just like, he's like, no, don't do it. Oh, I did it all right. Oh, that bounced him though. That actually wasn't what I was looking for. Uh, maybe I could call him back over. Would this be in range? It wouldn't be, which is a total shame. I think my best bet then is to do Harry Eye. Cause he's gonna pop up somewhere. Cause we still haven't cleared you, so you just, you're just you just sitting here. <laughs> Whoopsies. Okay, well, wasn't able to properly use it anyways. We're just gonna go over this way, I guess? Where's the other dude? He's way over that way. I don't really see much of a feasible way to get to him at the moment. Is there a pipe up this way? I think I would, would have to take that pipe and pop out there. So I think that instead, we'll wait about here. We are gonna go ahead and hit you with the uh, shell and melon. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and put you to sleep. Hopefully that means you won't summon what you're trying to summon. But well, only one way to find out, and that's to get you to start snoozing. Okay, ink coconuts are falling down. Even if this hits Rabbit Peach, it's not too big of a deal, but if it hits DK, that's sort of a problem. So you have 29 health, and you will summon a Ziggy. Oh, will that bounce? It will bounce, so beautiful bounceage. Okay, we got hurt a little bit. We can always heal with our Rabbit Peach. You're gonna summon somebody, is it gonna be another Ziggy? Let's hope so. No, that was a bouncer? Yeah, it was a bouncer, yeesh. Okay, so what do I wanna do about all that is what I gotta try to find out now. I'm thinking that thing is just gonna sit there. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, hard to say. I think that it would be smart to have like you go with DK and then we can have her just be thrown way over here. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, that'd be so great. There's like so many options with this then because now she could, uh, I don't know though. Hmm. Okay, we'll have her, okay, if that happens, DK should be okay. Just toss you over there. And then with that in mind, I could do something like this. I could have you land right here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and blast that guy afterwards, and that should be great. And that should clear you, which means you can use your moves, which is always fantastic. So go ahead and get rid of this guy. Boom. Gets a critical honey that I didn't need. Wonder if you could have actually hit anybody across the way over here, probably. Oh, you could have hit that summoner. Probably would have been better. Well, hindsight's 2020. Let's go ahead and hit you like this. I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna line this up, hit you, we're gonna get the uh, stink eye out, hit you with some of that as well, whenever you decide to move, so. Ready for this full blast? Get ready for it, it's gonna hurt. Gotcha and then try to move again, you know what's gonna happen? Stink Eye's gonna happen, and you're the last dude. You're the last one of them. The last of his kind. And even that won't last for much longer. I don't think that uh, the ink would ruin the Stink Eye, but it's not gonna land on us anyways, so you're gonna try to move, right? Oh, no! You moved first! Basic tactical moves, I forgot that they could do that. Ah, darn, that's why we need the double stink eye. That's what I'm saving up for. So you're gonna cause a little bit more problems for us before we're done. That thing is just stuck there for some reason. Um, Okay, I'm gonna slide tackle you. We're just gonna wait right here. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna just full on blast you. Ready for it, dude? You're going down. See ya, boom, and that should be the victory. Hopefully it was a perfect, but we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, get back out of here. Run away. Doesn't matter how many of them you summoned. <laughs> Look at Beepo, run you curs, run! Tell all the other curs that Beepos are coming. Uh, okay. Well, battle cleared. Was it a perfect though? That's a big question. Look at our squad formation, I love it. Please, please, yes! Okay, we actually had one extra turn where we could have perfected everything. So things are going really well for us and that means we get 800 bananas plus an extra 450 and a rune. I'm happy about that, pretty pleased. So we could definitely buy some uh, new weapons soon if we wanted to. I figure we'll do that relatively in recent time. Oh, what's going on with this? They all got vacuumed, the last one. I'm not sure that's the worst place for those rabbits for now. We'll empty that canister when we have time. <laughs> Beyond all the problems they cause, I sort of see what you mean. Okay, so what's this way? 
Oh, this is definitely a block puzzle, all right. So the trick with this, though, is that we can't get by when that button is pressed, but that might not be so so much of a bad thing. Because we can, oh. Oh, that's tricky, because now I can push this this way, keep going. And then where does this pipe leave me? A puzzle piece first off, and then if I press this button, it raises the green, which could be helpful if maybe we have this pipe here first. Look at this banana pipe. I like all the different kind of pipes. That was sort of something I was disappointed in in the uh, main uh, Mario and Rabbit story mode, was that there was really only one type of pipe. It was just a rabbit pipe. You didn't even see like green Mario pipes here. You see wooden pipes, these are banana pipes. We've seen coral pipes. There's all kinds of different stuff. I like how they've gotten a little unique with that. Okay, I feel like they've been trying a lot more risks with this story mode, and I wonder why that is. Maybe it's just because of the pressure of working with such a franchise like Mario. They wanted to make sure they just got everything right and played it a little safe. And then maybe with this, they sort of have a little bit more opening to just sort of express themselves and have some fun with it. Look at this temple. Because I feel like that's what's going on here, and it's awesome. And we got level number two already, so we'll try to make our way through as much stuff as possible today. We got to get, get the washing machine's parts back. We should be able to do that. I see a smash over that way. We got ourselves some more collectors. A bunch of collectors. What was that, five of them? I think so. <laughs> Look at this dude, he's like, ha, <laughs> ah. All right, so before we do anything there, of course I'm gonna go to the Battle HQ and buff ourselves up a little bit. Cranky needs a new weapon. And that is what he's gonna get. We have the Grim, or the Grim Peeper, which, uh, is of course another boom bow. There Charon sits, ruling the dreary coast, his eyes hollow furnaces, his multifocal lenses preventing harmful exposure to blue light. And that 70, 80 damage is vamp damage, extra damage to collectors, which is very topical. And then we have the Expresso Atomizer, which of course is a reference to Expresso, which is so cool. The, uh, not the flamingo, but the, the ostrich, it says right there in the description. The ostrich from Donkey Kong Country. Very cool. Never hide your head in the sand again. Again, with the, the official licensed Expresso the Ostrich merch. Has double kneecaps for authenticity. Very cool, but we're gonna stick with the uh, Grim Peeper, even though I really like the Expresso one, just because I need that extra collector damage, I think. We have enough money for like a bonus thing too as well. We could either do the bomb and ramen, uh, one tear open lid, two pour boiling. Oh yeah, we've already seen this. So the two new ones are right here, the pain apple. Use as a as a weapon to inflict pain and misery on your enemies, go right ahead. Just don't you dare use it as a pizza topping. And now one's gonna get clutch as well, it gives us a vamp chance. This is the croaker disposer. Whether it's monkey minds or monkey shines, Winky is always bouncing with enthusiasm as his officially licensed barrel bolt. So this is, of course, Winky, I guess his name is? Winky the frog from, maybe Winky the toad? I don't know, uh, from Donkey Kong Country again. I like that a lot, but I need this one. Vamp damage is always very good, uh, however, we may be able to get it. So that's good for now. When it comes to the skill tree, I wanted to go ahead with our now three points and get that. For uh, Cranky, do we have enough for this? No, we already have the multi-stink eye. Really? It didn't seem like he used it last time. Really didn't seem like he did. Bonus to stink eye reaction has been maxed. I swear that I didn't use that last round. Weird. Um, for now though, I mean, I could save up for the uh, Stink Eye damage a little bit more, or Stink Eye cooldown. When it comes to other stuff, though, maybe dash damage would be nice. Always some options with this stuff. Uh, you know, let's do extra dash damage. I thought like that'd be good. Uh, maybe it wasn't, maybe it was. We'll find out one day. But for DK, what were we saving with for him? I mean, we full, oh, fully upgraded this kind of stuff, and that's really important, in my opinion. We can do high ground bonus damage, cover damage. Uh, I don't know, I feel like it's still better for him to have any kind of extra movement range. So the dandelion jump is always good. He's already got the pipe range. So let's try that out a little bit, because he's already a heavily damaging character. We just need more mobile stuff with him. So let's fight with all this. I think that's gonna be really good. Going through this pipe leads you way out this way. We could smush you up though. Oh, that would be good. The thing is, is that I always prefer to smush up uh, Cranky, because we can throw him and have such a wild combo with it. And then we could just go and you know get after those collectors. You know That would be awesome. So. Let's get you over like this, and then maybe from here, this is one of the collectors. We could do this. And then I haven't even gone and moved as Cranky yet. You know, there's even more movement to be had. And it's interesting, I wish that sort of you could go back through the story mode once you beat it, the main game story mode, and replay as, uh, 
as like Cranky and uh, Donkey Kong. Maybe it would be too overpowered, but it would be so much fun. Okay, so, huh. Trying to think out what I wanna do here. Cause like I could have you do this, or I could try to make you go over after some of these guys. I think this is a good idea. I think this is a very good idea. So let's go ahead and hit him like that. I mean, I could have ran over there and done a little bit more. You actually, I keep on forgetting this, but you run after getting hit. It's a tough thing to deal with for sure. But um, we're gonna go ahead and do that to you. Do I have more than one slide? I don't, but I guess it's really the best I can do at the moment. We are gonna go ahead and do this. And then we're gonna try to put some dudes to sleep here. Maybe not the best option yet, because it would only put you to sleep, so maybe it would just be better to do that stink eye. We'll try, it does extra damage against these uh, collectors anyways. And then Rabbit Peach hasn't moved yet. She could go this way, go through this pipe. Oh, and hello! Look who happens to be here! Wrong time, wrong place, I suppose, but that's not my problem. Okay, so we'll just hide. I mean, yeah, I should. I wish I had a little bit more pipe exit range. But that is so amazing, I love it. Now with everything else though, I don't know what she's gonna hit with what. Wait, why didn't she slide attack you? Did I actually ca cancel that? Am I really that big of a dingus? I suppose I did. Oh well. Oh, but I need to actually get the piece now. Um, that's fine, because after the, you know we eliminate enough collectors, you know there's not as many people around to pick it up. So I could just throw a banana at you, it would take you out. Or I could go with this. Or no, no, with this, we would have to call you over a little bit more. So let's go ahead and get the Magnet Groove. You should be able to get over here with that. Oh, oh, I forgot about this. So that was sort of kind of not what I wanted. Not the effect I was looking for, but hey, for now, this does more damage. I think this does extra damage against bucklers. I like how every weapon has something like that in this one. I feel like it wasn't like that in the original storm, but I actually can't remember. But for now, we got that going on. Enemies are gonna start moving. There's another character this way, but oh, Cranky's gonna try to get to him. That really didn't do what I wanted it to do. Cranky's uh, stinky eye isn't the best, I gotta be honest. So he went ahead and grabbed that, so he has two pieces, which once again, isn't that big of a deal. You also have two pieces. As long as we eventually get rid of these guys, that's what matters. So you're being a jerk, but honestly, I don't care. Like, I'm just gonna ignore the bucklers, because they really aren't doing that much damage. They also stand a chance of actually getting rid of uh, some of our enemies. Can't quite reach Cranky, so I'm just gonna go this way. We're gonna do this. I see this dude over this way. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this on him. It'll explode in fiery goodness, and that'll be great. So, boom, you're on fire. You're gonna run around. And I'm gonna toss a banana at you or something. Like, that would be good. I could also just do Harry Eye. Does Harry Eye have a double? That'd be nice. Go ahead and do this. You're gonna run. Go ahead and try, see what happens. Not happening, dude. Ah, yeah. So that's another one done. That's a golden shot, which also means we get some extra bananas for it. I just don't know where I want to go. I wish I could have kept DK around a little bit more. Hmm. It might be smarter to go down there, though. I'm thinking it is, so we'll, we'll try to sneak back down this way. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I could put him to sleep. I could also just damage him from here. You know what, just go ahead and do that. Damage him a little bit, not a critical, but it's something. And then, oh, I'm honeyed. That's really bad, let's go ahead and do this. That'll help out a little bit. But I don't know, things aren't going perfectly so far. We honeyed you though, so what comes around goes around. We still have two of these dudes, and one of them has, oh, I think there might be more than that. But if they're bunched up, that's gonna be really good for us. Okay, so you're gonna pop out here, you're gonna go up that way. Oh, you move so much, and so far it's crazy, dude. Okay, so definitely I'm gonna be teaming up with uh, Cranky and DK there for sure. Just because they're so close, it's, it's a no-brainer, really. So I'll go ahead and like side tackle you, but I really want to get up here. Oh, I wish this could do a little bit more for us, to be honest with you, but it's something. I gotta get started on this guy, because he has like three or four pieces of laundry at this point. Maybe hitting him will get him closer to uh, some of our other subjects, and that'd be nice. We didn't honey him, so he's gonna move somewhere. He always tries to move away, but as you can see, he's gonna end up moving towards DK, over this way, and that's gonna be messy for him. Oh, that's actually, the stars may have just aligned for me. I can go ahead and pick you up, go this way, go through this pipe, wait right here, and then 
Cranky, make these guys feel the pain. Feel that pain. Maybe this would be a bit of a better angle. I think it would be. Look at this, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. I wish it could be a little bit better. I mean, maybe if I uh, position DK in a better spot, it could have been. But for right now, that's gonna hurt. He can't hit either of these guys like this or like that, and that's sort of the problem. But oh, I could slide tackle you, wait right here, blast him full on, and we just got ourselves Almost a win, we actually need to pick this stuff up. That's something I've not been doing. Uh, and then next round, next round, turn four, we'll be able to pick that stuff up. Because I can't right now. <laughs> okay, so all the collectors are done. Unless more pop up, we can get this next round. So let's go ahead and finish that off. Please let it not be collectors. They're just Ziggies and stuff. Oh, okay, I don't care. I mean, they're all gonna attack right away, which I think is sort of unfair. But hey, it'll be fine. So you guys are gonna all move around. You might beat up poor Rabbit Peach, but it should be okay. Oh, maybe it's not, depending on what you hit. Oh boy. Oh boy, I was scary. So yeah, go ahead and pick that up, and this up, and this up. How many pieces are supposed to be in total? Five? Or we're about to get all five. Look at that. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Did we win? We won, battle cleared, but did we get the perfect? We can only hope, we can only hope. I think we did, but that was tough for sure. Yes, we got that green perfect, amazing stuff, so that means a bonus 450 in the banana department, and 800 for the completion. Another rune as well. So lots of awesome stuff going on with that one. That turned out basically as well as it possibly could without it being not so well, you know? So that's awesome. They're sort of looking around to make sure there's no other collectibles. I don't think there are though, so I don't know if there's any other upgrades I can get. Which way am I supposed to be going here? I think I'm supposed to be going the other way. So let's check out the uh, potential bonuses this way on the treetops. It looks like there is a puzzle piece, nice, okay. That's halfway done with all of the puzzle pieces, 10 out of 20. Don't see any other things I can do around this way. So we'll head out through this other blast barrel. Oh, and there's more, huh? Or no? No, no, this is where we were a moment ago. Okay. Wait, was that right? I guess so. Yeah, yeah, okay, I was, I'm, I'm just getting that confused. Oh, oh, hey, look at this reference. Oh, you can hear it in the background. You can hear the uh, Donkey Kong music. Run, run, jump, woo, boy. He'll get, he'll be lucky to get to 125 meters unless he finds a hammer. Oh my. I love that. I love how the, uh, the rabbit on the top has the old like Donkey Kong movement. That's awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick up these bananas. And it's looking like there's no way to get over this way just yet. But if I go up this vine, maybe we can find something. Uh, nothing here yet. Hmm. And there's a barrel this way. Is that just gonna skip all this nonsense if I wanted? I think so. So I'm gonna ignore that for now until I have no other options. Because to me, it looks like I can go this way. And there's some stuff I can do with these blocks. What is the thing I can do with them? I mean, I suppose I can start pushing them off for one way or another. I don't know if that's actually worth my while. I mean, I would suppose it is. Oh, I just need to get one block. Oh, I see. The idea is to just keep pushing these down until I finally have one block down this way. Okay, that's that's actually not too bad, because I can just do that, and then push it, go down with it, go like this, go like that, and we got it. So that's going to move that platform over. Is that what I wanted, though? I mean, I guess I can still access that area, and it gets me a chest. Okay, cool. So there is some extra 3D model stuff right there. And ooh, it's one of these. Okay, so if I find all four treasure chests, I'll be able to get the big final treasure chest. Okay. Where does this pipe lead? This one seems to lead down this way, where I have a number of things I could do. Uh, maybe. Oh yeah, I can, okay, I see. I can push this like that, and then, oh no, no, I'm supposed to do it the other direction, so that I can activate the blue thing, so that I can get that other box, the other block. So that lowers that as well over this way, which I might wanna go check out. I guess that's smart. I don't know, there's so many different ways to go, it gets a little confusing. Definitely is uh, a 
A little bit more involved than our average puzzle. <laughs> that makes a squishy noise. I also don't know where this pipe leads. This, oh, just right to a chest. So we'll have to go back for that one. I might wanna do that right now, actually. Yeah, because I'm gonna forget if I don't. So let's go ahead and do that. See, that's the thing I shouldn't have too hard of a time keeping up with. We just gotta go back this way, go on down, down, and get that chest. Because it's just an easy one. There's nothing we actually have to do except for just activate it. It is a uh, art piece. And we get two out of four. Two more to get. I think I know where at least one of them is. I just have to get back up there. And then the other one, we'll have to figure out some other way. <laughs> Don't know what that is at the moment. Probably with all the other colors and that block pushing puzzle over that way. But for now, with the lowered blue blocks, which I think was up on this part. Yes, it was. I should be able to just simply plop down and figure some stuff out, I'd imagine, but maybe not. Activate this. That, uh, ooh, that changes some stuff up, I suppose. Because now I can just plop down here and get this. Okay, so that's three out of four. That is another 3D model of a tropical summer summoner. We'll just beat those guys up earlier. I do like how they're adding new different enemies in this. I feel like this, like, this almost feels like a whole new game, just really short and sweet, you know? It's so good. It has so much to it. I was not expecting this much for the DLC. It might be like one of the most, I feel like, comprehensive overall, solid DLCs I've played in a long, long time. Okay, so I sort of see what's going on here. I need to try to find a way to get the block onto the uh, white piece, which shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Let's mess around with this a little bit and sort of see what we can end up making. Because I could do this. I could, oh yeah, perfect, perfect. Go like that, go like this, and it's solved. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm getting better at blog puzzles, it seems. Let's move that way and uh, get that final treasure chest so we can open the real final treasure chest. It's a uh, melody, mid-boss melody, and there we go. So, where's the pipe at? I think it's down this way. Indeed it is. Blast us off this way and Open this chest up. <laughs> DK so happy, I was like, oh, I'll get this one, guys. It is, oh, look at that. We actually got some relics in a chest. We got two power runes. We usually don't, I think this is the first time we've gotten power runes in a chest before, so that's really helpful because all of our characters will be getting two power runes each. So very, very nice for us. I think I gotta go back up this way to skip all this action. I don't have to skip it, I completed it. So we're just moving on to the next area. Yep, going through this way. We get a couple bananas out of it too. The, where does this lead? Does this just send us back? Yeah, that just sends us back. Good to know. Okie doke. So we're probably gonna run into the next level very soon, I have to imagine. But in the meantime, what else do we got going on? Whoa, I thought we were gonna go down there, but now I guess we gotta go down this way to go down there. There's like, yeah, a little area in the center. Whoa, no, there's so much more of this stuff. Okay, this one looks like it might take me a moment to wrap my brain around it. Cause I'm guessing I'm trying to get one here for whatever reason. How am I gonna do that? I would think, hmm. That would be helpful, of course. If I had more than one block, which I do, if I could just knock this back like that, Maybe, oh no, 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 I got this, I got this, maybe. It's sort of hard to say, but I'm pretty sure I've already got this solved. If all I gotta do is get it on the white spot, then I'm pretty sure, yeah, I just figured this out. Undo the red ones, like that, and uh, push this like that, go like this, and then push this there. Okay. But do I have to raise the yellow ones? Is that the idea now? I would have to imagine. So let us try to lower, oh, but here's the tricky part. Maybe. Oh, it's so hard to say. I mean, oh gosh, I can make him spin. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Um. Okay, so for real this time, I think I figured this out. I don't know how I kept messing this up when the answer is actually really obvious, but now I just gotta go like this Go like that, and we got it. Look at how easy that was. I don't know how I messed it up. I'm a dingus, but we all knew that one. Anyways, let's open up this chest. What do we get? Just probably, yep, music. Nothing crazy, but I want everything. I'm greedy, apparently. 
Let's go back this way, and as you can see, there's a couple bananas, and then there's gonna be this whole centerpiece, which I'm pretty sure is just more puzzles, so we have a lot of stuff to deal with. Maybe it's just a reward, but no. We're back here. How do you get to that centerpiece? There's obviously stuff on there that I can reach, or I can get. Maybe this will just launch me? Oh, here we go. Well, that's a puzzle piece for me. Um, Go down this pipe. What do we get, what do we get? I don't know. Cool to start with the puzzle piece, though. A lot of creepy stuff on the spider, I don't like that. And there's a treasure chest just waiting at the bottom. This isn't even a puzzle, it's just rewards, which I like. But they definitely do give you some good rewards with the puzzle piece and everything else, but we also get some art. Very cool. So, let us go through this cannon. The barrel, whatever it might be. And this should probably lead to another level. I would hope so. What are we looking at? Well, it's nice to see them cooperating, even though it's if they're going to get potassium poisoning. Is that really a thing? Potassium poisoning? Now I'm a little nervous. I have way too many banana smoothies. Okay, well, let's go this way. Huh. Can't go down that way. Sort of looked like I could. What is going on with this area? Oh, it's a statue. This statue is entitled The Coronation of Buonana Hanamati, Moments After the Coronation. The peel was thrown on the ground and the tribal chief slipped on it, plunging the island into a thousand year war. Wow. How long is it I care this place has been here for a very long time then? Look at this view. Okay, this is just here for a view, I like it. Anything else? Ah, oh, weirdly open, oh, 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 you can't hide from me. You can, I'm the, I'm the puzzle piece master. You can't hide from me. Okay, so before we go into action here in level three, we're gonna go and check out our skill tree. That rhymed, I like it. And we have a lot of upgrades for a lot of characters. I'm thinking there's like so many different options. We can do hairy eye damage, hairy eye cooldown. Feral attraction, magnetic room becomes so groovy that it always lures enemies as close as possible to DK. That sounds awesome. Let's try that out. So like no matter what, they go the distance they need to go. I don't know why I'm over here. Let's go ahead and get more upgrades for everybody else now. Um, we could do four dashes or I could up the damage of the dashes with this one. Um, I could lower the, I mean, we have a super heal now. I think that it's pretty important that we focus on that. But at the same time, we have some tanky characters that have not really needed too much heals. Maybe it would be better if we did do um, a high level dash. That way we can just have that extra damage. Now for you. Uh, I think Stink Eye would be great. You already have the times two Stink Eye. The Stink Eye cooldown's always good as well, but we've already upgraded a good chunk of that stuff. I am thinking long story cooldown would be nice, but I think that this cooldown would be better. But I think at first we need to do the damage because that's a little bit more expensive, a little bit harder to access because of that. We do have a lot of money if we wanted to upgrade some kind of weapon. Um, Probably a secondary then. And if we had to upgrade any secondary, I think it's going to be DK. So he has a couple more upgrades here, two more. He has the Buckler Knuckler. This ground pound is especially devastating the Bucklers, which is only fair since they're always hiding behind those annoying shields. Very cool, 75 to 85 damage has bounce damage and bonus damage to Bucklers. Then we have uh, Summoner Scrambler. Tired of their summoners calling in their cavalry? After a few of these, they won't remember how to order a pizza, much less reinforcement. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one. They both have the bounce damage and I feel like Bucklers are sort of hard to have something reliable to go against them. So I thought that'd be nice when it comes to our money. We're not gonna be able to afford any other thing. So let's stick with that. The third level, that's all we're in. I feel like I've been playing forever right now, and we're only in the third level. Stop the smugglers. I'll try, I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, so lots of smugglers, maybe I should have done something, actually, I don't know. We don't have anything that's really all that good. We, were, we had something that was good against summoners, but not smugglers. Okay, so they're of course trying to get to those locations like we've seen before. More smugglers, they're bringing bad bananas to their home base. Obviously, Rabbit Kong is getting nervous. He is gathering as many bad bananas to him as he can. Okay, so let's try this out then. There's a couple things we could do here, actually. Um, I'm thinking about this. Ooh, I'm really thinking. Because I could. Oh, I could do a couple things and it would be really good. I could just have you over this way. I could throw you back this way. If only the positioning was a tiny bit better. I can make it better though. Just like that. Hit these two? Oh, that could be really good. I can already get a pretty devastating combo on four of these guys. I mean, there's a lot of them is the problem. There's a whole big bunch of them. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. 
But for now, I could have you do this. I can only have you slide tackle one of them, unfortunately, but that's not too bad, considering the fact that, uh, you know, what's it called? <laughs> I forgot. Um, he doesn't really need to move too much, you know? That's, that could be pretty good. Then we can damage these two super bad like this. I have some ideas, I have some plans. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna go ahead and I think immediately hit these guys would be fine. Like I could either hit you or you. I think it would be better to hit you because you probably will move out of my peripheral vision in soon, in a, in a moment. Oh, and you get honeyed from that? That is so good. Okay, so you moved, I guess, closer. Are you attacking us? So they still they still work, oh my gosh, like smashers in that way. I didn't realize that. So we're gonna go ahead and stink eye them, and then we're gonna go ahead and do, I guess the bongos to start things out with, because that'll call over a ton of them. And then Cranky can use that, and he can just go ahead and blast this dude. Oh my gosh, they're critical. So we're gonna get our health back with that one. And does he do the second shot? He did it this time, and that should be enough to get at least rid of the, both of them. Okay, good. But the problem is it still didn't really get these guys over here. We'll move them like that then. Oh, the critical for both of them. That means we will be able to get rid of one of them. And as you can see, this guy is gonna move a little bit closer, but he's so far away from his destination, it's barely a worry. How awesome is that? So we're gonna move this way. The only problem now is that there are some dudes over this way that are going to be a little bit threatening um, for how close they already are. But if we do this, do they run closer to the point or do they run closer to us? We're about to find out as this thing pops on over to the other side and boom, they, one of them got honeyed which is really good. The other one goes through the pipe to try to beat us up. Mm-mm, not happening. You know what's gonna happen instead? We're gonna put our shield on. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, this is so good. We're, we're playing well. Okay, so he barely moved. This guy's honeyed. This guy's gonna go back through. He's like, I don't know what I'm doing over here. I gotta go back this way. Boss is gonna be mad. I mean, we gotta be worried. There are summoners over that way, but I hope they don't summon a new smuggler. That wouldn't be fair. Uh, they can summon anything else, I don't care. Um, but you, I should be fine with you. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is have you with your blaster, oh, not really good placement, is it? Okay. Um, you know what? Let's do this. Just get rid of this guy. It's a critical and everything, but that's worth our while, because now we only have two to worry about, and I know exactly how to deal with them. We're gonna pick up Cranky. We're gonna go ahead and jump across this. Land about, I guess, here is fine. Uh, we'll, we'll make it a little bit farther for a couple of reasons. Uh, the, the starting thing, though, is that we're gonna hit you like that. Maybe I could have made him a little bit farther back. Remember, Cranky hasn't moved yet, so we could move him farther back, but right now they're both frozen. Um, I can activate Hairy Eye. Oh, this is so good. This is so good, watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and just like tackle the higher health one for uh, good luck, good measure, all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, I mean, I don't know if they'll actually move in DK's vision. Well, I guess I can only hit one like this. Ooh, that's sort of tough. What if I do this instead? It will hurt us as well, but I think it's worth it because I'll get rid of both of them. Awesome, boom! Okay, we took health from Donkey Kong as well, but there we have it, battle cleared with beautiful flying colors. That was amazing, that was so good. So what do we end up getting? That better be a perfect. I don't know how to do that any better. It seems like it was pretty easy to begin with. They expect you to do it in three turns, so I did it in two. Pretty gosh darn nice. 800 bananas plus the 450. We get a lot of bananas for that then. Very, very awesome. So we are storming through all of this action, but I think that's probably where we're gonna leave it off because I think there's gonna be a good chunk more left to do. We've only done three levels so far. This might be the last world of the DLC. We'll find all of that out in the next episode of the Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle Donkey Kong Adventure. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Rabbid Zebra so now you've watched the end and that you are a zebra tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the zebra herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.